Hi everyone, my name is Hyunsu Kim, and I'm in charge of AI research at Naver AI Lab. The paper I'm going to introduce is StyleMap GAN, which enables various editing for a real image in real time. Naver AI Lab's generation model team mainly conducted this research, and please check our code for further details. The objective of this research is to naturally edit real images in real time. Over the last few years, GAN's performance has developed remarkably to the level where it is difficult to distinguish real or fake even by people, as you can see. Accordingly, a number of editing papers started to use GAN. In order to edit a real image X, we need to find latent Z that can create X, and this process is called inversion or projection. Once we perform inversion to find latent Z, we modify the Z value according to the editing task to generate latent Z prime. Then, we insert this Z prime into the generator again to generate the finally edited image. The point is that if we cannot find proper latent Z, the result is not going to be good no matter how the editing is done. So editing research that uses GAN spent a lot of effort in improving the inversion performance. Existing methods perform inversion mainly in two ways. First is the optimization method, which takes an extremely long time. We run iteration for each image and optimize the target latent, but it takes from a few seconds to several minutes, so it's difficult to be used in real time. The second method is to train the encoder to perform the inversion. This is real time, but has edge limitations as well because of inaccurate embedding. We found that the reason for such limitations of existing methods lies in improper latent representation. Many of the papers currently edit images using StyleGAN, which is the SOTA method, and it uses a vector as the latent representation. But an image we see is a 3D tensor that combines spatial data and RGB values. In the process of converting a 3D tensor into a vector, a lot of local information disappears and this degrades the performance of reconstruction. So, for the representation of latent, we propose a style map in the form of not a vector, but a 3D tensor. Style map is composed of 64 channel dimensions and 8x8 spatial dimensions. The idea is very simple, while it has proven to be fast by using an encoder, and shown a much better inversion performance even than the optimization methods. Our generator looks similar to the original style gun at a glance, but most of the modules change to exploit the special feature of StyleMap. Please check our paper for further details. We jointly train our networks with various important losses. The tick marks in the table show which network's update is involved in each loss. In the inference time of local editing, First, we get the style map W corresponding to each image through the encoder. Afterward, use alpha blending to produce a modified latent W prime and put it into the generator to create a blended image. Now, let me introduce the experiments. This is an experiment to see how much the proposed style map helps the inversion performance. You can see that as the style map's resolution is increased, the dissimilarity between the original image and the reconstructed image gets reduced. But if we increase the style map's resolution, local editing results gradually get worse. So the 8x8 style map represents the best compromise between the reconstruction and the editing quality. In quantitative results, ours shows the best editing and reconstruction quality and runs 10 times faster compared to the baselines. Only our method brings over the intact details such as the curly hair of the reference image. By using StyleMap GAN, we can interpolate images and we can blend images locally with asymmetric masks. We can maintain the structure of the original image as it is, and at the same time, bring the colors of the reference image. Lastly, we can change a specific semantic such as making the cheeks red or putting makeup on. In the previous methods, it was not possible to control locally, which made the issue of changing the unwanted areas. But with our stomach gun, manipulation can be applied only to areas specified by yellow boxes. Thank you for listening and please refer to our code and demo for further details.